Now if, like me, you enjoy putting on a pair of headphones, relaxing with your music and shutting out the world, this is the video for you. I've been wearing headphones every day for the past 30 years, and yesterday I had an experience that's transformed my enjoyment of music. Let me tell you about it. I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly. My day job is making the cables that connect Bang & Olufsen, but I'm also a brand ambassador for B&O. And that's the reason why yesterday Bang & Olufsen sent me their flagship H95 headphones. I won't bore you with the unboxing, or in fact, I'll start it up here while we talk so that you can see just how much effort has gone into the packaging that, of these headphones. So I was really quite impressed as they uh, were, were opened. In fact, actually, as this was my first Christmas present of the year, and we're in December, let's put the Christmas lights on. That's better. So, what was so special about these? Well, if I explain the background, since I was a teenager, I've been enjoying Bang & Olufsen products. I've been a fanatic of their products, to be honest. But the one area that I didn't really become a full B&O convert was in terms of headphones. I've owned a wide range of their headphones, H3s, H4s, uh, Form 2s, all sorts of them over the years, but nothing that ever really gave me the long-term wearability that I needed. So as a teenager, I spent a month's worth of my part-time uh, wages on a, a pair of Sennheisers. The forerunners of these, the ones I bought with the HD 560 Ovation. A few years ago, I upgraded to these HD 599s. Lovely, gentle to wear, cosseting, and they give a, a nice, even, neutral sound that translates well to most forms of music doesn't give any sort of coloration and you can wear them happily all day you forget that the headphones are there admittedly that that wasn't an experience that i felt i got from bang and olufsen headphones until now so the h95s are equally comfortable these again have a very light clamping force they're secure on your head but for someone like me with big ears, these are a wonderful fit. And they have a few special tricks up their sleeves that, to be honest, have blown me away. My Sennheiser headphones have always been open-backed. So you'll see there's a, a metal grill on here. Basically, the sounds from the room that you're in can leak into the headphones and the music that you're playing leaks out into the room. That generally makes it easier for the headphones to give you a natural sounding reproduction of music. And this is very different from the approach used on the H95s. These are closed back headphones. The cups and the back of the headphones are completely sealed. So there is no natural leakage of sound in or out. And that's coupled with an electronic noise cancellation, which is adjusted easily by the little dial on the left-hand earpiece. So what you can do is you can go from a position whereby you've got almost 30 decibels of noise reduction, and that's equivalent to wearing a pair of industrial ear defenders, through to turning that dial and having the sound from the room electronically put back into the earphones. So to all intents and purposes, you can choose whether you hear the conversation going on around you or whether it's in complete, almost complete silence. I've tried noise cancelling headphones before, Bang & Olufsen's own H9s. They're good headphones, but they just didn't do it for me to that same extent. These, however, are something completely different. Not just an improvement, they're a transformation. If you're a B&O fan, you'll know that five years ago in 2015, 
Bang & Olufsen introduced their BLAB90 Halo speakers, one of the world's most powerful and expensive domestic speakers and absolutely jaw-droppingly good. They produce bass right down to infrasonic levels at the frequencies you feel rather than hear. When they're working at full stretch, you actually feel the deepest part of the bass in your chest cavity, as well as hearing it through your ears. And that's something that, when I initially saw the announcement of the launch of the H95s this year, as Bang & Olufsen's signature 95th birthday product, I thought, well, that's not going to be anything special. It's not going to match up to BLAB 90s, but yesterday I realised I was wrong. So I'm sorry, Bang & Olufsen. These, are, these really are that good. These are BOLAB 90 to wear on your head, if such a thing were possible. There is an incredible bass reproduction in these headphones. So these have 40 millimeter titanium drivers, one in each earpiece. And these, I don't know how they do it. The frequency response is quoted as 20 Hertz to 22,000 Hertz. And as with BLAB90, I think these actually go deeper than 20 Hertz. I've had tones of 14 Hertz out of BLAB90s during testing, and my gut feel is that these headphones are doing something similar. I don't know how they do it. It's when you when I compare them, I asked, in fact I asked my friend Ian from morethanav.co.uk, who's also a Sennheiser fan, to send me his best headphones. Not the pinnacle of the Sennheiser range, but the best all-rounders, the HD 660S. And I've spent last night listening from these headphones to my own Sennheisers to the H95s and back again. I'm absolutely stunned. The 660s are a good improvement over my old headphones, but the H95s are literally a world away. There are songs that I thought I knew well that I found now have an extra level of depth to the bass. And putting on a movie, I, I chose Blade Runner 2049, one of my all time favorites. And the soundscape from that is unbelievable through these headphones. You're getting the bass that you get from hearing that movie soundtrack in a really good cinema. This, you're getting proper subwoofer bass through these and as I say I really don't know how they've done it. The bass is never overwhelming or overbearing. The levels and the clarity are absolutely spot on but going back and forth between these headphones the difference is quite incredible. Now this is not intended to be a conventional A versus B headphone comparison where we look at the spec and the price because obviously these are very different. Uh, the Sennheisers are less expensive. They are pure wired headphones. These are wireless Bluetooth noise cancelling smart headphones with Google Assistant. Um, and they are, they're not cheap headphones. As you would expect from a, the Halo product from a premium brand, these command a price tag that's commensurate with that. So they sell at around about 700 British pounds at the time of release and that is not unusual for a premium pair of headphones. So Sennheiser, AKG, Grado and various other premium headphone manufacturers all make headphones that are far more expensive than the H95s. But the, I must say the quality, the build quality, the quality of the materials, the soft leather, the lambskin ear pads, the, the metal fittings here, it's absolutely faultless. The etchings of the Bang & Olufsen logo and the, the back plates, everything is, it's beyond reproach. There is nothing that I could call out in any way in the construction, build quality, design of these headphones. They are supremely comfortable and they look and feel absolutely spot on. I'm, you probably tell I'm almost lost for words here, which is not good for a YouTube review. 
One thing I will say is that whilst these are, let's do a quick specification check, Bluetooth 5.1 covering SBC, AAC, and Aptex adaptive codecs with a dedicated button for Google Voice Assist. They have obviously active noise cancelling, four MEMS microphones to pick up and cancel background noise, USB charging point and Bluetooth pairing button. That, I would argue, is not the main reason you should be buying these. That makes them very convenient to use with anything like a phone, laptop, um, tablet. But what you really want for these headphones to get the best from them is to plug in the supplied 3.5 millimeter cable. For once, I'm pleased to say this is of a very good quality. So you don't need to upgrade the cable. The only time you might want to consider changing the cable is if the supplied 1.25 meter cable isn't long enough for your needs. And in that case, I sell a similarly high quality two meter long cable for the H95s. Now, when you connect these headphones via the cable, you still get volume control. You still get active noise cancellation, which you can dial in and out using the dial on the left hand earpiece. But what you get is pretty much zero latency. You get all the sound processing and you get no loss of quality at all, as may be the case through Bluetooth. This is when they really, really shine. I've been listening back and forth between the different pairs of headphones. Obviously, the Sennheisers, both versions are purely wired headphones and in their own strength of being connected via cables to my own uh, USB mixing desk, they cannot come close to the H95s. So, as I've said before, I'll say again, these are BO Lab 90s to wear on your head. That is the only way I can describe the sound. It goes beyond normal headphones. And rather than me trying to do a sound test of some sort on a video, which I'm sure would not do them justice, I really need to say you, you should experience these. If you're a Bang & Olufsen enthusiast, you need to either get to your Bang & Olufsen dealer, if that's possible, and hear them, take a phone or an iPad with your favourite music on, and just have a listen to just how good that sounds. Or if you're not able to get to your dealer, you'll see on BNO's website at the moment, there is a special extended return period over Christmas. So you've got the opportunity to try these out at home. I'll put a link in the video description to take you directly to their website. I don't make any money if you buy headphones through that link. However, if Bang & Olufsen see that you've made your purchase as a result of viewing my video, maybe they'll give me more access to their products, which I can then review for you. So hopefully it's a virtuous circle. So I would strongly recommend that you get to hear these for yourself. And all I can say is that my Sennheisers will soon be up for sale. Never thought I'd say that. 30 years I've been listening to these headphones and their predecessors. That three decades is over. Hello H95s. Please subscribe if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what you think. Have you heard them? Are you as impressed as I was? I'll put up just here a link to a video that I did comparing six of Bang & Olufsen's other headphone models going right back to 1971. Please let me know if you have a favourite from those. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.